Well, here we are wrapping up the first day of Dell World, and I uh, found my buddy Barton George, who's been, uh, unlike myself, lollygagging around and living the life of leisure at a conference. He actually has been working. I've been working like a dog. So, given that, yes. I wanted to ask Barton, how did the first day of Dell World go for you? Like, what, uh, you know, what do you think happened that you were interested in? It's been pretty good. Uh, this is the first full day. They kicked it off half a day yesterday. I wasn't here for that. But um, what I've been doing is I've been doing a mixture of booth duty and then talking to press and analysts. So because I've been doing that, I haven't had a chance to check out the session. So we've had some really good speakers today, like Paul Moritz of uh, VMware. Mark oh, yeah. Benioff is just finishing up now. Um, a lot of Dell senior execs, including Michael Dell himself. Um, so I haven't seen those, but I heard they've been, they've been going pretty well. What I've been doing is uh, on the on the floor, as I said, doing uh, booth duty, and I'm pretty pretty uh, pleased with the people who came through and the level of interest. What I was particularly talking about was our big modular data set. Yeah, I was going to ask. That, so you're by that all day long, right? Yeah. Uh, well, what I wasn't doing the. I need to get ads. one of those for my backyard. Yes, exactly. At least two. So those are about what 12 feet by eight feet deep. You can actually walk through it by 14 feet high because we have the air handler on top. So that's something that always catches a lot of attention. Um, it's really glad that we had it, had it out there. It's not an easy thing to get into a showroom floor, but but we did. Yeah, I, I, li I like the this morning the thing Michael Dell was saying is uh, it, it runs off of air. Base, you know, we cool it with like air that we suck in. And uh, when we installed it on that roof, it was 115 degrees outside Fahrenheit, and uh, it was I don't know it, like there's a lot of interesting stuff going on with heating, and and uh, there's not too much crazy going on that that modular box there that data center shack yeah it's a it's modular data center one of the neat things we had is we had our own little drive-in movie kind of like <laughs> we were on the back on the back side of it you had a huge space where we put a curtain and we actually posted the uh, we're, we're running the about it's like a minute or two uh, time-lapse photography of Bing Maps uh, installation of the modular data center so basically it shows the breaking of ground uh, in January of this year through to April, so about three months, of them just breaking ground, and you know how they have those little things moving quickly, All right. putting the whole thing together. And it's really cool, and you can see this, um, you can put a link in your in your blog to the video um, uh, on YouTube, but uh, that, that was a really good way of illustrating to people how quickly and efficiently you can put together one of these uh, one of these sites, where they basically put it, and it's outside. The whole thing is you're not building a data center, you're you're putting this on a slab of concrete, uh, and these are all self-contained, and they have a bunch of them lined up, and it's all air-cooled. Uh, so that was pretty interesting. And, and so was, when people were coming up, what were they asking about? Well, it's just they, other than wanting to touch it or something. Well, no, they were, they were. It runs the gamut of just being dazzled and wanting to know what the heck this is to people actually saying, you know, we're going to be building out a second data center, and I think this might be a really good solution for us. All right. So. Um, and when they get into the, the more details, then I pass them with the product manager who can di dive deep into the details. But a lot of people were just looking at it as sort of what are the capabilities that, that, that Dell can bring to the party and what are the ways that, that, that Dell is innovating in, in different areas. And I think this one is a very eye-catching thing, not, not the least of which because it's so darn huge on the, on the trade show floor. So that was pretty cool. So that was a, that was a lot of fun. And then, as I said, I was also talking with... Um, I had about five meetings with, with press and analysts. Oh, five. I thought you just mentioned two earlier. They, well, they, two, they really got you had, sacked up. And I had, uh, yeah, I did. I had uh, five in total. So what was it, like, what, what were the, how did those conversations go? What were they, I'm always curious what people are interested in. Like, what, uh, what, were, what did they seem to be thinking, and what was their kind well, of attitude? Well, a couple of people were interested in my old role, where I just came from as a cloud evangelist, and just wanting to know, um, uh, IT Canada did, did a video with her, uh, much like we're doing here, all about what is... How, how does Dell approach the cloud? What's Dell's value in the cloud? Where do you play? You know, what, what has the acquisition strategy been in, in that space? Uh, and that went really well with myself and then the country manager for Dell Canada. Mm. We sort of split that. Um, other talks were about the, the new web and tech vertical that, that you and I talked about in the podcast. And uh, there seemed to be a, a, a good amount of interest in that as far as Dell focusing in on the web and tech space, and within that space, focusing on on sites, and then the key the key constituency within that being developers, right. and really focusing in on developers and developers at the cutting edge. So not those folks who are developing in in Java or .NET, but those people who are working in PHP, Perl, Python, those types of developers, and really trying to to understand them 
uh, better going forward and figure out how do we best how do we best serve them and make their lives easier because that's the that's the way that you're ultimately going to curry favor with them is if you can help them do something better right. faster easier um, and do it in a way that's that's genuine and that's not traditional marketing type of an approach and so uh, a lot of people were, were interested in that and I think one of the interesting things with that too is the fact that the work you do <clears throat> working with these people who are on the, the cutting edge of of technology is going to benefit Dell's uh, enterprise customers down the road because the, the web of today is the enterprise of tomorrow and so by learning these this this type of uh, working with this class of customer you're going to learn tricks and, and tips that will help the enter your enterprise customers down the road yeah yeah and did that seem to resonate with people you've uh, yeah, it, yeah it definitely did so yeah um, uh, that's i mean that's always the fun thing about a conference is you can you can uh, get outside your own walls and see what other people are thinking of what you're thinking <laughs> well, yeah, and speaking of which one uh, comment i did get was one of the people was uh, a bit disappointed that we didn't have more in-depth demos and i think there was a conscious effort here at dell world uh, to make this a higher level show so rather right. than get down geeky into the bits and the bytes and the specs which dell can tend to do sometimes is let's up level this and let's make it more of a cxo conversation and so if you go around, we don't have demos that we're running here. It's more video, it's more people talking one-on-one, -on -one, having that conversation, explaining things. Um, and so for this one reporter, he was a little bit disappointed that we didn't have that. And so I think one of the most interesting things will be to see how this this goes over with the with our uh, customers who did come here. Did they, did they end up leaving saying, gosh, I wish we'd have done uh, dive deeper or will they go thinking hey that was really refreshing I didn't people weren't talking about you know how many megahertz is this and how many terabytes is that it was much more of a, uh, of a conversation about business problems and that was the overall goal yeah yeah of the huh. event, so. well that's a pretty good as we like to say up in Round Rock readout yes. of, uh, of what's been going on there so uh, so thanks for taking the time my pleasure a pleasure is always good